You know what, guys? There aren't that many first-person perspective platformers out there, and that's mostly because they're really hard to make and the controls often suck. <laughs> but one game that is jumping into the fray is Lemma. There is a lot of jumping in Lemma, the game also equips you with a handful of free running or parkour skills. You can hurdle small obstacles while sprinting, run along the sides of walls, and also do little rolls to reduce fall damage. The game has a great sense of motion, plus it even supports virtual reality headsets. Are you okay, Darren? Oh, of course, I forgot how sick virtual reality makes you. It's nothing. I'm okay. I was just clearing out my cloud storage drives. <clears throat> It's all perfectly routine, I assure you. Right, okay, well, back to the game. Lemma hasn't got much in the way of story. You're just dropped into this bizarre world of blocky floating platforms. There are some vague notes you stumble upon, but it's not until you start getting messages on your phone that you realise there's someone else in this dimension trying to help you. I thought the phone was a really clever way of working in the story. I mean, we use them so much ourselves in real life that it just felt natural. Yeah, although I wish my real life phone was as good as my characters in this game, though. I lose reception when I just go into the lift. Yet somehow, even in another dimension, she's getting full coverage. That is some serious sci-fi wizardry. Affirmative. I must say I was highly impressed at how well the game plays. As you mentioned, Barjo, many similar games have stumbled on the basic controls of first-person jumping. It's surprisingly easy to land jumps in this game because they've made significant allowances for human error. Jumping is still possible for a microsecond after leaving a platform, and you can grab onto platforms from a very generous distance. Yeah, I noticed that too. I mean, quite often I was sure I'd missed a jump, but then no, her elastic magic arm saved me again. Plus, even when you do manage to mess up a jump, the game respawns you right where you jumped from. Yeah, the game goes super easy on you, and that's why it works. Plus, you can even sort of create platforms as you go. If you roll off a platform, fresh ground will be built underneath you. You can also do it while you're wall running. These extensions that you're creating will only extend out a few metres, but they do allow you to reach platforms that would normally be well out of reach. All these extra abilities make the game far too noob-friendly, if you ask me. Well, steady on, Darren. I think it's actually quite clever design. I mean, I see these abilities as a little bit like the driving aids that we have in racing games and often take for granted. They just sand off the rough edges that often make first-person jumping feel so clunky. Good point, Hex. Plus, there are these little heat-seeking explosives that keep you on your toes. As well as some puzzles to activate. So I didn't feel like it lacked a challenge. Well, now that we've got the basics down, I think it's time to try this game out with the VR headset. Oh, I should just stay here and guard your empty chairs. Oh, no, Darren, come with us. I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah, come on, Darren, it'll be great. Let's go. All right, guys, who wants to go first? <laughs> OK, well, it looks like Darren still has some cloud storage issues, so I guess I'll go first. <laughs> Good idea. OK. All right, I'm in. Um, the first-person perspective works pretty well, but it's still very shaky when you look around. From one to ten, what are you on the sickness meter? Um, at the moment, I'd say I'm about a four. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, yeah not bad. No. Oh, okay. Well, that was quite interesting. I'm not sure how much time I could spend in that world though with the Oculus. Right. Mm. All right. I'm ready. Oh. I've engaged all 37 of my anti-nausea subroutines and purged all of my cloud data. Pass me the headset. Okay, Darren. Good luck, Darren. Engaging VR. And I'm in. Oh, it's, oh, it's like being up amongst the clouds. I can look up and down and, oh wait, those aren't my feet. Where are my chest boots? <laughs> I can't stop falling! Oh! Oh, this is all wrong! Oh, hey, get the goggles off! Get the goggles off! Oh, uh, why didn't we learn from last time? Uh, 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 you vomited into the goggles! Uh, I wanted to have a go! Uh, oh, it keeps happening. Why? Why? Uh, why would you do that? Oh, Darren, I can't believe you robo spewed in the virtual reality goggles. Yeah, are you okay now, Darren? Oh, negative. I'm still reconfiguring 
<laughs> Rebooting my safety protocols. All right, well, I think we should probably wrap this up so that Darren can power down and get some rest. <laughs> I think they absolutely nailed the free running mechanics and in such a creative location. The way the levels mysteriously built themselves around you was great. I'm giving it three and a half out of five stars. I think they could have done a little bit better with some of the level design. There were just a few points where I had to resort to randomly wandering about and trying things until I stumbled upon the solution. But I agree, the core mechanics work really well. I'm giving this three out of five stars. <coughs> Darren, do you need the bucket? Uh, negative. I'm fine. No need for the robo bucket.